Good afternoon, everyone. We're going to be jumping in here with President Bill Code Veronica Bowman. I don't know exactly where we are today, but we're up there. Coming at you. A few moments. All right, everybody, I think it's game time. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Oh good, the audio's working. I was waiting for that. <clears throat> good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for jumping in here. Um, we'll slowly build the audience up as we go along, but uh, we're going to be continuing on some a little bit of Code Veronica here. Pretty excited about it. It's a good one. Code Veronica is a really good one. Um, sorry if I'm in, a, I'm, I'm in a little bit of a weird mood today. Um, heard some terrible news, but I'll get into that a little bit later. <clears throat> but for the most part, we had a pretty good run here this last night. And we are using some codes on this. It's just, again, just to have fun with it. Code Veronica's tough. Code Veronica's a really tough game. Resident Evil. Code Veronica. At least I think it is. I think it's a tough one.
All right. Jump right into it, no problem. Give me one second, everybody. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. <clears throat> um, I think we had to go to the second floor. Uh, we just picked up the uh, the indigo emblem, and I believe we got to put it in the bridge that's coming up here. I'm kind of lost in it. I'll take a look at my map. Can't get through there. Well, this place is going to, that's going to do us no good. Let's go back to the, fir the other floor. Let's go to the first floor. The basement's not going to do us any good either. So Steve just ended up shooting his father because <clears throat> he was a zombie. Can I just come out of this way? Yes. So the fun thing about Code Veronica, guys, is... Um, was, sorry, my mind. I've, I'm off today. But Code Veronica was the first Resident Evil to not have pre-rendered backgrounds, meaning that we actually have a dynamic 3D kind of camera view that's happening here, real time. Is that the camera actually moves with us at certain parts, which is very unique to the game. And this was the first series that was... The first one in the series that was not featured on the PlayStation. back through this way. I guess they locked it on us. Yep, here's where here we go. Oh shit. Doggies! Thank <laughs> you. 
Yay, the indigo card. <clears throat> we need that. Yep. happened to overlook this the first time. Oh. Yes. I need to use this. Launcher. It's going to take up two slots, isn't it? Ooh. Nope. <clears throat> take up one. Oh, it's a bandersnatch. Get off me. Damn bander snatches. God, I hate those things. things just suck. It's the weirdest name. It was a bandersnatch. Ooh, oh. Mm. Mm, it's just so... It's just so, uh... Weird that our viral outbreak is happening then you have a game like Resident Evil just a trip we'll get there Just my pistol. Maybe we want to go back there and do that. Forget about that. But it will later, I think. It fills up the room. Hopefully everyone's having a good day. 
you know, despise the pandemic that's happening. I've had a shitty day because of it. So we're gonna play some Resident Evil and shoot some stuff, everybody. Let's go check that out real quick. <clears throat> I don't know this one nearly as well as I do the other ones. You know, Code Ver I used to know Code Veronica fairly, fairly well. But it's just one that I stay away from because it, it's a tough one. I think Code Veronica might be one of the hardest Resident Evils. Oh, nice. Here's an item box right here. And that's my opinion. I think it's a tough one. Yeah, baby. Let's ditch these. Let's ditch that. Crowley, um, I'm doing okay. I've had a, I've had a tough day. I've had a, I've had a pretty bad day, but I, I'm hanging in there, man. Thanks for jumping in the stream. Really do appreciate it. Um. Yeah, I think Code Veronica is underrated. I would actually think Zero is more underrated than Code Veronica. Um, I I think I I, I think you might have known. I'm not too sure. A lot of people knew that I was applying for a job over in um, Central Washington University. I was applying for a new teacher position. For to, the, I was applying for a position that was the department head and an associate professor in the film program at Central Washington University. And I made the initial screening, had my first interview, and was hopefully going to get a call back to be one of the top three candidates. And I received an email today of them telling me that because of the financial crisis that they may... Uh, endure because of the coronavirus that they've um they froze all hirings and canceled the search for the job that i wanted so um <clears throat> i'm losing my job at my current university in may because of their financial issues that's because they're dumb shits but because washington's university central washington university doesn't know how things will pan out here in the next mo couple months um it's not that the university didn't, didn't deny me the job. It's just that they have to cancel the search. So it really hurt today. Today's been a tough day because I was really looking forward to that job. Um, it would have been one thing if they said, no, you weren't selected to be part of the interview process. But I did, my, I did an entire interview and was hoping to get selected for, um, for an in-person interview. And that's just not going to happen now. So it's really put a damper to my spirits. So yeah, that's, that's what happened to my day.
Um, <clears throat> you applied for the job that I did? Or you said I'd also apply for the job you did? Um, right now, all, all universities are, I, I'm scared that they're gonna be on a big hiring freeze because they don't know financially our students going to be coming back to school. Everything's going online. It's um, it's not looking. It's looking pretty grim. So Crowley, you're saying that you would apply for the job in my position, or you did apply for it? Oh, it was department head of everything. Um, oh, that's right. You live in England. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I gave GamerGoo your address, too, and everything. So uh, hopefully they'll be getting that sent out to you as soon as possible, your samples of GamerGoo. Um, it involved curriculum changes, budgeting, managing, you know, all the department, equipment, purchasing, teaching, instructional design. Uh, it required everything as, as the department head. And I've been department chair before. It's just, um, I was really looking forward to it. And it's the only job that I applied for. Um, because the big thing is, is my wife and I are very particular where we want to live. And so... Yeah, man, it just really, really hurts. You know, my wife still has a job here, which is great. Um... We just didn't want to be in the same... We didn't want to... I think we're both ready for a change. Yes, in film. Yeah, I, I, I teach film. Salamander. These things suck. <laughs> Shh, I was. I was just trying to hope that I would just be able to run up the stairs, but I couldn't. I actually have to hit the button to get up the stairs. I think that's ammo there. I don't need it. <clears throat> um, Crowley, the school backtracked on it because... I know you're in England. I know you're in England, and the um, the the situation over in Washington, the state of Washington here, Crowley, is really bad. It's one of the worst states that we have right now that's being affected by the virus. A lot of deaths have happened there, and um, the school is worried about its enrollment, and they don't know how long this will last for and they need to try to save as much money as they can. So they're worried about hiring somebody to spend, you know, tens of thousands of dollars to hire somebody. Um, right now, um, I understand why they're doing it, try to make financial sense so they don't ruin themselves in the financial irresponsibility, but it really, it really hurts because I was it's the only job I applied for because we're particular where we want to live. And I was, um, that's why they're going back on it. Because the coronavirus is, it's a bad deal. So it, it just sucks.
my wife and I are in isolation right now. She was actually in Canada. And because she was in Canada, she got she got over the border right when they announced that they were closing they were closing the borders. So um, it's been really scary for her too because she didn't know if she was going to get back into the states. So we're in isolation right now for today's our officially our first day of isolation. So um, we're just going to stream a bunch of video games, have fun, hang out, eat good food, and yeah, it's just it's just re you're on day seven. Good for you. I'm worried that we're both going to go a little crazy when it gets further into the situation. But what we are going to do is we're actually going to go do some fly fishing because if we're in isolation, we'll be by ourselves on the river, you know, so. How's it going for you then for your um, for your uh, quarantine then Crowley how's that going I'm I'm hoping that when this all ends that the university will come back and, and say okay we're gonna redo the hire because the thing is is they need somebody to run their program it's just right now they're they're scared everybody is everybody's scared Oh, let's go there. Yeah, how, th how are things over in England then? Um, please tell me about that. So were, did, did you have it then, Crowley? Did you have, were you tested positive for COVID? I had influenza A about two and a half weeks ago and it really hurt. I mean, I was really sick, super sick. But you've been advised to stay home for seven days. Um, no, that's a good thing. My, my, I, I think you should do that. Um, we have to teach all our classes online now at my university that I'm at right now. And, and that's fine. I'll do that. But what's really sad about it is that um, I won't be able to see my students' faces again face-to-face. And then I'll be done. My job will be over. So I'm going to have that stripped away from me too. At my current institution, I've been there teaching there for eight years. And now I won't be able to see their faces on the last day of class. My wife had to sign something that said from the CDC that she would stay home for 14 days. And not have any contact. Um, I'm Crowley, I'm 38. I, I was hired as a professor at the age of 30, and so I've been teaching up there for eight years. Yeah, I'm gonna miss my job. I'm gonna miss my students. Bandersnatches. Damn bandersnatches. snatches. 
I just really wanted that job in central Washington. It's so beautiful over there, and the campus looks super beautiful. <laughs> I'm six years older than you, and uh, Professor, you don't suck, man. It's Everybody takes their own route in life, and... Do you, do you mind me asking what you what you do, Crowley? The reason why I was a professor, Crowley, is because I had one person in my life that made a huge influence on what I wanted to do, and it was a teacher. It was a teacher that changed everything for me. zombies in here. Um, POS systems, like point of sale systems? Or what's the EPOS stand for? Yeah? Okay. Electronic point of sale. Okay, all right. I wasn't too sure about that. You know what? I, I, I bet that's tough right now because businesses now are not... I feel that they're not doing that. Most of our clients have... Yeah, that's what I'm saying there, uh, Crowley. That's definitely frightening. I'm sorry to hear that, you know. I, I'm glad that you still have a job. That's, that's super important. What the hell? Oh. Shit is blowing up in here. Oh, you feel like something's going to jump out of here. First digit, left, left, right, left, right, I have a strategy guide if I need it. <laughs> um, Crowley, how did I get into streaming? Uh, Crowley, I was born in 81 and I grew up playing old retro video games, so that was my babysitter. Um, Nintendo, Zelda. Uh, I just grew up playing a lot of video games. And I don't know. I don't know. I guess it started. I guess it started uh, Crowley because I ended up jump. I ended up getting part of the group here on our Facebook pages. I'll go ahead and put these fan pages up here. I ended up joining these Facebook pages and I ended up loving what everybody was doing on these pages. You know, especially NES fans of all retro games. And they had parts where people, we'd we have admins where people would, uh, you know, that people, some do game of the week, some people, you know, uh, sell games. I guess it started with retro game selling. And in the, in the pages, everybody had a role in what they did and I wanted to be an admin and I just didn't know exactly what I wanted to do and I guess I just said hey I have all these retro games maybe I can stream some of these I probably can I, I have the capabilities of it and then I started learning about RGB consoles and, and how to change a Super Nintendo or a Nintendo into pixel perfect resolution and started really diving down that rabbit hole and I said great here's what I can do for the community and I started talking to the the senior admins you know that that run the pages and so I started streaming to those pages on Facebook when I first started and granted my pages my streams were garbage Crowley they were they were bad when I first started but with practice and time, I started, you know, slowly improving my skills and equipment a little piece by piece and quality and quality. And um, I was streaming on Facebook a lot, but then decided to start my own Twitch stream about a year ago. 
a little bit longer a year ago, but I was doing it just like once a month. And I said, you know what, if I'm going to do it, I need to do it. And so I started. I've been streaming heavily now for about a year. And it's been great. And the people on the Facebook pages has made me a senior admin. And so things have just kind of rolled into there. So you're asking me how I got started into it. And I got started into it because I love video games. And now I want to share the experiences that I love for these retro games with the entire communities. That's a really big thing for me. So uh, me and an old friend streamed RE2 back in 09, and I started back up in 2016. That's excellent, Crowley. So I don't know the password for this. And my big thing about streaming Crowley is that I only stream I only stream retro and original carts and discs only, so there's no emulation on my channels. Uh, and you saw you saw a co-op stream there. Um, sometimes I'll do co-op streams with friends of mine. They'll come in and they'll they'll play co-op games with me and. That night, we were doing a, re a stream of Resident Evil 3, and we were going for a world record attempt. We didn't get it, but my buddy Colin did get sixth in the world for Resident Evil on the original disc. So he got sixth place with an hour and 49 minutes for a speed run in it. So I'm glad that you saw the stream at RE3 a few days ago and it kind of made you want to go back and play it. Um, I've been meaning to do a stream of Code Veronica for quite some time, and since I got my new Umbrella Corporation t-shirts, I think I needed to, uh, I think I needed to stream Code Veronica. And now, because Resident Evil 3 is coming out, the remake, I will stream that one. That'll be one of the first games that I'll, I will have streamed on my channel that isn't retro. That'll be a new game on a new console, but I have to stream it. In light of what's going on, I think it might be in bad taste, but Resident Evil 3 is going to be a big game. And I am going to stream the hell out of that game because I love Resident Evil's. You do own all the games, Zero through RE2 Remake, including the rail. And the rail shooters were fun, the Umbrella Chronicles and stuff, right? Do you own the, um... Do you own Outbreaks and stuff like that? Oh, of course, a Bandersnatch. Oh, a Bandersnatch. I'm I'm a huge I'm a huge Resident Evil fan, uh, Crowley, just like you. Um, but I also have an addiction to collecting strategy guides. So when I was a kid, uh, I used to collect strategy guides. When I started working at a company called Hastings Entertainment, I used to buy strategy guides off the shelves of uh, of there all the time. Let me grab something and show them to you. I think you're gonna like these. Let me show you. All right, I'm back. You own the original RE2 strategy guide? I am. Um... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'll show you something else that's really neat too. Crowley, I think I own every Resident Evil strategy guide they made. And I'm a huge fan of uh, Brady games. So this is the one that I own for Brady games. And this was actually a really neat one because it was uh, 
it was a duel, so you had Resident Evil 3 and 2 in it. Um, I bought this brand new for like $9. Still in really good shape. You know, corners are crisp and clean, spine is. So this is a really good one. I know, I'm such a nerd. We're nerds. We are nerds. You know what though? That's okay. I'll be a nerd. Um, here's my Code Veronica, which I'm going to have to probably bust into this here soon. I don't remember Code Veronica that well. But what I wanted to show you, Crowley, if you haven't seen these yet, is they made them years ago. But these, the Resident Evil archives, and they made a uh, version one and a version and uh, part two of them. The Resident Evil archives are really, they're thick. They're, they're super huge. Um, cool, they're, they're neat. They just talk a lot about the story. They give you a lot of backfill. Totally worth it. Now they've jumped up in price, like extreme price, which is, which is silly. But, um, you know, it's, what do you, what do you do? Uh, am I going to do all the Nemesis kill run? I probably won't do all Nemesis kill run right away. I'll probably try to get something where I can have unlimited something. Um, I'm scared. I, I'm, I'm scared of the Nemesis. I mean, he looks like a really big badass in this new version. He spooks me. And then, you know, so the demo's out now, I think, right? You can play the demo. And I'm staying away from it. I am not going to play the demo because I... I want to be surprised. Oh, this this part is cool on Code Veronica. Good for you. Don't play the demo. Stay away from it. You know. And why? And why I am. Um, why I'm streaming the new RE3 when it comes out because it goes against everything that I do on my channel. Um, I have these new uh, emotes that are designed specifically for Resident Evil 3. You know, so Crowley... Um, like like yourself, um, so I have these this awesome new hype T-Virus emote, right? T-Virus. I also have the Nemesis Stars emote, right? So we can get it on and go... Stars! I like it. And then we have the original uh, from the RE1, the brains emote where the zombie turns around and you see that. So we have these new emotes that I'm really excited to use for the Resident Evil 3 stream. Um, you're going to be streaming all the Nemesis kills. I will I will try to do the kills on the Nemesis. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I'm super excited for the game. I wish I had a PS4 Pro so I could play it on 4K, but I don't. Ooh, Bandersnatch. Yeah, I've, I used to play a lot of Resident Evil 3 as a kid growing up, and I've killed the Nemesis, you know, every time before I've done it. Um, I'm. It'll be interesting to watch my buddy, who got a sixth place in the world on that stream now, to see how he handles it. But, I mean, I'll try to kill the Nemesis every time, but why not? You know, let's give it a go, because you get goodies at the end of it. At the end, it's only done on hard mode, though. If you do it on hard, on the original, um, you can get infinite ammo on one item, one weapon. So you're saying RE3 is the best RE game ever made. <sighs> Crowley, I don't know, I don't know. I don't think it's my favorite. It's, it's not my favorite. But you're not alone, Crowley. There are a lot of people that believe RE3 is the best one that's ever made. You are not alone on that, my friend. See, I'm a huge fan of the first one. And I know you're going to say, wow, Nick, that's terrible. Slap, that is awful. But I grew up playing that one so much when I first played it. It has this... I guess that one's near and dear to my heart because it's the first one I've ever played as a freshman in high school. It was just... It was so groundbreaking for me and and I tell you what the original like the original and the director's cut has they have different music in them 
So there's some little bit of different music, like when you get down into the kitchen area, the director's cut versus the original has different music. And the first one I played was not the director's cut, but when I ended up buying one, I got the director's cut with the analog support. Oh, that was so cool to get that. Um, I like two. Two is not my favorite. I think I like three better than two. I'm a huge fan of the first one, but I, one of my favorite, Dual Shock Edition. Yes, I have the Dual Shock Edition. Thank you. And I like the Dual Shock Edition. It was a Director's Cut Dual Shock Edition. Because they made a few of them. Uh, that's the one I ended up buying because my mom wouldn't buy it for me. I just rented it like 80 times. That being said, I'm a huge fan of Resident Evil Zero. I love Zero a lot. The first one's my favorite. Yeah, Resident Evil Director's Cut, it's, it is top tier, my friend. Um, let, me, let me see something here real quick. Give me a second. All right, I'm back. So I ended up buying this one a while ago because this is the one I used to rent all the time. And this one has completely different music than, um, than the director's cut, especially when you get down into the kitchen. This one has different music. I'd recommend playing this game too. This is the first PlayStation game I've ever played when they first came out was D. It was the first PlayStation game I played uh, this one and the need for speed. I'd recommend checking this game out D if you can find it. You're gonna pay some money for it but yeah I picked this one up again because I have the director's cut but then I have this one because the music's different and that's a big thing for me. All right let's get started on here. Get back to it. Sorry everybody we're kind of I'm trailing off there but Ooh, I have Nightmare Creatures 1 and 2 sitting right behind me. I, I love Nightmare Creatures 1 and 2. I used to play Nightmare Creatures 1 a lot. So fun. Such a fun game. Underrated. Uh, Resident Evil 3, the director's cut, Code Veronica, RE2. So, let me ask you this. Where does Zero stand for you? Have you ever played Resident Evil Zero? You said you, I guess you have them all. first game you ever played was nightmare creatures that's fun that's fun i i need to play nightmare creatures this music's creepy Resident Evil Zero is a one per year kind of deal for you. I play Resident Evil probably two, three times a year. I like Resident Evil Zero. It was just so unique and no item boxes, you know. Uh, I don't have the ladder anymore. I changed, I traded it out for the lockpick. Snatch. Scared the hell out of me. I jumped. He's spooky. He's spoopy. Let's mark it. 
Jesus. Resident Evil Zero was the perfect multiplayer RE game that never got made. Now, Resident Evil 5 is great co-op. I love Resident Evil 5 for co-op. I think it's a stellar game for that. Yeah, we'll take this. I... Zero, man, I really liked Zero. And the thing about Zero, I played Zero a lot when I remember getting Resident Evil Zero, and I remember re I remember getting the component cables for the GameCube. Now I recommend playing Resident Evil on the GameCube with the component cables. With the component cables, they're so good. It just it looks so cherry. Oh, I played Resident Evil 6 co-op. Um, it wasn't my favorite co-op. I think I played as the the girl. There was a girl in there for Resident Evil 6, I think. And I enjoyed it. It was a big, you know, shoot 'em up kind of game. And 6 wasn't bad. It wasn't the best, but it wasn't bad. I'm not going to rag on it. It just wasn't my favorite. But I had fun with it. I just don't think it was. Keep focused, brother. Our the enemy best. is only a little girl. Let me see who oh, I play this as. taking so long? My apologies, Alexia, but I have been doing my best. The revival of the Ashford family depends on your success, brother. I am aware of that, Alexia. I will revive the family name myself and make you the master of the glorious Ashford family. Do not worry, brother. I will handle them both myself. Who is there? Is someone in the corridor? The what is oh, it, Alexia? N nothing. What am I thinking I of for I the playable characters? Anything. Let us go, brother. The re What was the one where you played as the, uh, as the team that you had to go in as? Who, what am I thinking of? Operation Raccoon City. Yeah, I played six. Sorry, I was thinking of Operation Raccoon City. Six for me was okay. I I didn't... Uh, yeah, I didn't think six was bad, but I didn't think six was the best. I remember playing a lot of Operation Raccoon City. That was that was kind of fun. I cannot remember who I played in six then. I was confused between the two. I had fun with Raccoon City. I really did. I had a lot of fun with it. I don't remember who I played as six. I probably played it. Uh, um, I don't remember. It's been that long since I played six. Oh, getting stronger with it? Yeah, I think I had fun with that. I played as the uh, woman that had assault rifles, I think it was.
I played as Lupo. I think you are the only one talking. We have a, we have people that just lurk too, Crowley. Oh, and I I appreciate it, you know. Keep talking, my friend. We got a lot of people that lurk. I don't think I can go in here yet, can I? No, keep talking. I appreciate it. Good to get my mind off things today, as today was just a shitty day. You're doing a good job, man. I just, it's been, I, I'll cheers my tea to you. I drink a lot of tea. So yeah, cheers to you, man. It's been a tough day. bunch of gummy bears play some resin evil what's going on jamie good to see ya all right crowley there you go we got another person in here chatting with us now we have jamie jamie's been watching me stream to when i first started my streams were pretty bad then they've gotten better I need to look this shit up because I can't think of where the hell to go. I love guides. I love strategy guides. I think they are so fun to have. Um, locked out. This is just day one for us. It's Crowley's seventh day. Can I not get this?
I think I completely missed something. I did. I did miss something. I'm an idiot. Goes to show you how much I remember this game. Um, where did I get my name from? You're talking of Slap Artist, right? I missed an item. Well, that's a perfectly good question to ask. Uh, <clears throat> about 12, actually probably about 18 years ago, I wanted to get a MFA in art because I wanted to become a teacher. And I also play music, Crowley. I'm a bass player and I've been a bass player for over 20 years. And my influence for, for bass guitar is a lot of slap and funk bass, so slap bass. Before people started making fun of like slap at the bass, slap at the bass. I was learning how to slap the bass well before that. That being said, I put the two together. Yep, flea. Um you know, Flea was a huge influence. Les Claypool was my biggest influence. Um, I loved Mike. You know, I growing up, I loved Mike Dirt from Green Day. Still do. Um, yep, yeah, but Flea, uh, Les Claypool, Mike Dirt. Well, those were huge influences for me growing up. So I put the two together and I said slap artist because I wanted to be get an MFA in art. So slap artist, that's kind of where it came from. So I've had the name slap artist for, I think, 18 years. Am I a Mark King fan? Mark King as in, um, are you talking about the, the, the bass that they make? I'm th I, that's Mark bass. Um, I don't know Mark King. I listen to Stu, you know, Stu Ham, Victor Wooten, Shaco Pistorius, uh, I don't know the band level 42. You know, Getty Lee from Rush. I'll have to give this guy a listen. I don't know level 42. Sorry there, Jamie. I just saw that you found me. Access denied. <laughs> yeah, I'll check out level 42. What's some good songs from them that I should give a listen to, Crowley?
the hell am I missing here? Oh yeah, if this game got a remake and they're they were talking about it. They were I'm I'm not joking that they were talking about remaking this. But that probably wouldn't happen until 2021, 2022. Awesome. Well, thanks, Jamie. I appreciate it. Stay safe in Texas. Yeah, thanks for jumping in. Jamie, really do. Good to see you again. I love getting rid of items in Resident Evil games. Vander snatches. These things are tough. You know? Don't like the Vander snatches. Hunk's report. Ooh, did you ever play it, Hunk, like in Resident Evil 2? Wasn't that fun? Playing Hunk and Tofu? Hunk was tough. And if you'd done the Resident Evil 2 remake, you know, the remastered of it, Hunk's, Hunk's tough. I feel like I've missed a lot in this game already.
Yeah, I think I'm ahead of myself on this game. I think we gotta go back a little bit. I know I missed a few things. My favorite baseline to play you know like my favorite so when people sub to my channel um, it's a song called Tommy the cap from Primus um, this is what the baseline sounds like I guess that's part of a solo there but um, yeah I should look up the bass uh, the song Tommy the cap that's probably one of my favorite songs to play and I have yet, I have yet to play my bass on stream for everybody. And I will get there. But I have a lot of bass lines I love to play. And I actually started playing again, which has been really, really fun for me and good for me to do that again. Are you a musician yourself there, Crowley? Oh, yeah, man. I grew up listening to Motley Crue. Oh, yeah, man. I was born in the 80s. No, it's not like Nikki Six. You know, I grew up listening to Guns N' Roses, Motley Crue, you know, Skid Row. There's some good bass lines that have come out of music there. Got to go in there. I need one more. Your mom was born in the 60s. Never heard of Motley Crue. Have you watched that? It's kind of a pseudo documentary, but it's, um, I think it was on Netflix. It was called Dirt, and they made a, it, it was also a book. The book is, is really good, but the movie is actually quite entertaining to watch. You should look at it. Dirt. It was on Netflix. It was entertaining. Oh, Bandersnatch. Yeah, should read the book. The book is, the book is really detailed.
my mouse is acting a little slow. Yeah, the, that whole movie is funny. It's just very entertaining. I think it is. Dirt, yeah. Like, we're going to make it. Isn't it where they're they're also playing music and I like it in the when they're playing music I think I think it was dirt where they're playing their music in the in their rental apartment and the girl sits down and he's like he's higher pitched or something they get him to go octave or they have them tune a half step down or a step down and they play the song and the girl's like holy shit you know and she's blown away by him I think that's the same movie. It was, a good, it was a good film. I enjoyed watching it. Yeah, play it faster, too. <laughs> All right, we're going to get back on track here on this game. Yeah, that whole that whole opening scene to the movie just made me laugh. You know, when they're they're in their hotel and the yeah, the girls there. Yeah, that that whole that whole intro just I was laughing my butt off. You know, but it's like them, you know, it's Motley Crue did the same thing, you know, like Poison too. I mean, you know, C.C. DeVille and all those people, I mean, they partied, they were, they were rock stars, you know, but they had, you know, the life they lived was not always perfect. I mean, a lot of those people, they slept on floors and met rats and it was crazy. Yeah, I think I know where I missed some stuff at here. I'm going to head back to it. Yeah, those guys partied. They really partied. I'm 
not in a band anymore, Crowley. I used to be. I, I've been in a couple bands. Um, this is what I need. First band I was ever in, I was in a high school thing. It was be one of the best experiences of my life because I learned how to play, you know, music then. You know, I I wanted to learn how to play guitar because I thought it was the cool thing to do. And, um, yeah, I thought playing guitar was the cool thing to do, but I, playing with my buddy, it's like, hey, you know, Nick, we need, um, we could use a bassist. You know, so I was like, hey, how hard could bass be? Well, ba bass is very difficult, you know, so I ended up, uh, ended up picking up the bass guitar. And so the band I played in was just a really big cover band, played a lot of rock songs, which was great. Had a good time playing that. And then I played in, uh, you know, a band you know, a small band here or there. But the last band I played in, I uh, lived in another town, a town called Missoula. And it was a rock band. We played a lot of our own songs and we ended up getting a song on rock band, you know, like rock band for the Xbox 360. We got a song on rock band and then we were able to play Warp Tour and we played with Gym Class Heroes and Sum 41, The Expendables, Alkaline Trio. And it was an amazing experience. And then I got a teaching job and decided to take a teaching job. Hey, Jay, good to see you. I've kind of been running around a little bit here because I have feel like I've been a little lost there for a while. I was lost for probably about 45 minutes. So I did the eagle plate on the balcony and I already got that card. But what I needed to do is do this. Yeah, it's just resident Code Veronica's it can really lead you on a goose chase. I'm feeling it. Feeling the struggle. But Jay Crowley's been keeping me super good company here and just been chatting it up and it's been fun. I need to take this painting, don't I? Yeah. Ah. This is sad. All personnel get it I might not get it again just watching her pick it up and carry it around I know right just makes me laugh Just gives me a good little giggle.
watching her run around with that pitcher. I know, right? She's silly ass. I'm trying to think of where that other room is. Oh, there it is. I think that's it right there. Yeah, so Crowley, it was I had a damn I had a damn good time. You know, I mean if I could if I could play music for a living, I think it I think I would. I think I, I would play it for a living, you know, but it's you know, now that I'm older and have a wife and stuff, I mean You know, I couldn't imagine being on the road, especially right now because all the musicians are being shut down for uh Um their their music and stuff, you know, you can't People aren't getting it, the the plane anymore. What the hell am I doing? There we go. Ooh. about to get my goodies weren't you the old bastard yeah you ha I think you have to wait for that whole thing to die down It's the tank that goes in that training facility. Ooh, first aid spray. That's money. No, it's, you know, even even doing that with music right now, it's not working. I mean, I told you what happened with my, my job there, you know, finding out today. It's just, everything's, you know, not certain at all. You know, it's scary. So now I have the gold key. Now I believe I need to head back to the private residence. Anti-coronavirus music, right? We'll sing some anti-coronavirus music. I'm on board with that, my friend. Yeah, I got lost there in this game you know, for a bit. My goodness. I think this is a tough game to remember where the hell to go. Ooh, you just ate a ghost chili? Those are hot, man. I got some nice, uh, I got some nice ghost pepper chili flakes in my kitchen that I used to cook chili with. So let me tell you this. Have you ever had a Carolina Reaper pepper? I got flakes and sometimes I'll use those. Yeah, don't eat a ghost chili. I grew Carolina Reaper peppers one year and then I took a bite of one. Don't do that. Don't ever do that. I mean, I seriously, my mouth was on fire. Ooh. Oh, shit. Here, here. I got to show you guys something. You guys are going to love this. And I love insanely hot stuff, too. So during my honeymoon, I bought 12 of these chips. I don't know if you guys ever heard of this, but I bought 12 of them and I let my students eat some of one. 
and then I let my stu one student eat a full one. And then my buddy and I, we ate one each. And then I sold the rest to a guy that was trying to do it for hot, for Christmas with his family. But I don't know if you ever heard of this, but Packy makes some really hot chips. And they make the ghost chili pepper chip. And it's really, really good. Well, I was telling them I was going to try to get all these professors and everybody to eat these chips on video and make a, a viral video about it. But everyone backed out of it. Everybody backed out because they were all too scared of you know, how hot this chip would be. But I had students that said, hey, I can do that. I can eat that, no problem. I had like three students outside eating snow. One student ate a full chip. He had no, you know, he ate it. He didn't drink any water or anything. He did good, man. He, he had some, some cojones. But my buddy and I ate one and filmed it. This thing gave me stomach aches so bad. And the worst part is like, it was like a day later, I was still sick. And then, you know, what goes in has to come out. And that was very unpleasant either. Um, I don't think you can buy these anymore. They sold out pretty quickly and you get it and it comes like in a, it like comes in a, looks like a prophylactic thing. And this is like, you, this chip is as black as the devil's soul. And it's so hot. This is the only chip I have left. This is the only one I have left. Ooh, there's some spice in there. Okay, well maybe I'll mail it. Maybe I'll mail it to you, Crowley. I have your address. Maybe I'll mail it to you. It's one chip. The chips cost. I think when I bought them, they were like five bucks for a chip. Um, <laughs> your name is Damien, so you're due. You're due to do his bidding. Um, I have a video of me eating that chip and it was so hot. It wasn't bad in my mouth, but once you swallowed it, whew, that thing is made with Carolina Reapers, scorpion peppers, and it is hot and it doesn't taste good at all. Boy. Yeah. Maybe I should mail that to you. You would have to eat it on stream. You would, you would need to eat it on stream because I don't care who you are. That thing makes people wince. I would never eat another one. I'm proud to say that I did the Reaper challenge, but I couldn't handle the heat. I drank so much milk. My buddy who cannot drink milk was drinking it because it was too hot for him. It was awesome. It was total awesome. I don't think you can buy them on eBay. Uh, you can't buy them from the side anymore. And I think people were selling them for insane prices on eBay. Let me, let me see here. Let me see if they still have them on eBay and stuff. All right, so people are trying to sell these chips. Um, people are trying to sell the chips for like $18 for one chip. Um, you're going to have to spend like 15 or 20 bucks to get it. See if you can find one on e because it's gonna it'd cost me like ten bucks or fifteen bucks to send it to you. Dude. <laughs> Smart ass. Here. Here's a link to it on eBay. It's gonna be a long link, but check them out. It is an insanely hot chip. 
Oh man, that thing was so hot. It was just hurt. And it hurt the next day too. Jake, how are you doing today? I'm a horrible teacher. Hey, the students wanted to try it, man. They, I said, all right, let's do it. Let's give it a go. Let's see how you do. Oh, if you if you ate that chip on stream, I'd watch you do it. I'd watch you do it, man. I tried to give those chips out for Halloween to see if people would eat them, but nobody would do it. It's too hot of a chip. Yeah, if you ate it, I'd watch it. Oh, my name's Nick. You just call me Slap Artist. You died at Nosferatu, then died at the concrete slab, then died to a hunter after you got cocky and tried knifing it. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, this is a GameCube controller, man. This is a WaveBird. Oh, the WaveBirds are by far one of the best controllers like Nintendo's ever made. The WaveBird is amazing. Fully wireless. You adjust it. Put the different ones right there. Yeah, because we're playing this, we're playing this on the GameCube. You know, we're not playing this on an emulator. This is the GameCube. Yeah, a lot of people love the 360 controller. This looks like Vincent Van Gogh. Yeah, a lot of people loved the old Dukes because they were they were big, you know, it was a big hefty controller. Yeah, I I still have a cough because I had the flu there. I had a severe um, influ I had influenza A that was really bad, and I still have uh, <coughs> I still have a cough from it. No, I didn't have I didn't have Corona, but I had they diagnosed me I had a positive test for influenza A. And it messed me up, man. I can tell you what, influenza A, I had a fever of 103, it was so bad. But I still have the effects of that. That was awful. Yeah, my cough was, um, it sucked. It was just so, it's just so unpleasant when I, when I had the flu there when I was coughing my aches were so bad I had a fever it was I thought every time I coughed I thought my eyeballs were gonna pop out of my head I'm sorry you keep dying there Jag I mean what what did your what are you trying to get out of your speed run what what time are you trying to get
You think it needs to be under four hours and 30 minutes? I know I have a, a playthrough of, of this under four hours and 30 minutes. I know I've gotten there before. But there's no way in hell I could do it now. I'm just not even prepped for that. I'm not a big speedrunner either. But if I was to speedrun a game, the only game that I like to speedrun nowadays is Super Metroid for the Super Nintendo. Super Metroid is my favorite game. I, I guess I do like to try to speedrun, you know, the first Resident Evil. You know, I'm not good at it anymore. But my favorite is Super Metroid. That is my favorite game. Except for the freebie save after the plane. Oh, man, that's... Dude, that's tough. Now, I know we've speedrun it before. The best you ever got in RE2 is 128. You should try to stream that again. You know, and see, I don't know what what's the world record speedrun for those. Do you guys know? I like my t-shirt. Isn't this fun? Umbrella Corporation? I think it's a fun shirt. Dude, yeah, 128 for RE2. I think that's pretty good. Yes, I already got the silver key from this room. And I've already did a few things here. I need to get the blue ant now, I believe. Yep, I've already used the silver key as many times as possible. You know, my friend did that Resident Evil 3 in an hour 49, and you have to do it on hard mode. He took sixth place in the world for it, but it's tough. RE games are tough, you know what I mean? You get to that point where you keep, if you keep dying, you know, it's frustrating. speedrunning RE games you have to know exactly where to go your lines enemies and the thing about RE3 is that the enemies change you don't know if you're going to get dogs or hunters at certain parts oh yeah I'm a Diablo fan I used to play the shit out of Diablo 1 when it first came out I remember being in high school playing that and then um I didn't play a lot of Diablo 2 but I played a lot of Diablo 3. That slab, an insta-kill death trap with those controls. Yep, an insta-death. And that's definitely one of the worst parts about some Resident Evils is you can get hung up between the insta-deaths, minus those, you can get hung up 
and get pinned in on a, a dog or a hunter and that thing can jump up and cut your head off and ugh. see I skipped D2 played a lot of D1 and even more than that D3 but I'd be excited to try D uh, Diablo 4 Give me one second, everybody. I'll be right back. I'm going to go uh, just check on my wife real quick. It's been a really tough day for us in our household, so I'm going to go see how she's doing. I'll be right back. Give me a moment.
Well, that would have been nice to have a microphone on, right? I'm thinking about doing a little, uh, um, I'm thinking about um, ending my stream here for about 40 minutes so I can get a little bit of food in me. Crowley's talking about chili and stuff, and so I'm going to have some chili with some grilled cheese sandwiches. It sounds like really good. And um, what's up, Monger Face? Uh, yeah, wife's doing okay. Um, like I was telling you early, cra earlier, Crowley, Jag, and since Monger, you're in here too, and there's a lot of people lurking, is that I applied for a professor position over and uh, at a new university, and today I've already been interviewed. I've made the first second. I've made the first round of interview. I made the second round because they interviewed me. I made the first cut, and then I was in the second cut. But I found out today that they're putting a hiring freeze on the institution and shutting the search down because of coronavirus. So it's the only job I apply for because I'm losing my professor job here at the end of May or May because of my institution. My institution just can't handle money. And they have no idea how to handle money. And our institution right now is falling. And I hope they crash and burn because they're a bunch of assholes. But the new job I applied for, I made it through these rounds and today I woke up from an email saying that they're freezing the search, they're canceling the search because they don't know what the institution will look like in, say, a month or two with coronavirus, if they'll have a lot of students withdrawing or whatnot. So the job I wanted is now canceled because of it. So it was really hard on me today, and I'm really struggling with it. And the wife is stressed out. She has a good job right now, and that's great. But we're both worried about what's next. So... It's just been a tough day. So it's been great streaming because you guys have taken my mind off of things. So I appreciate that. Yes, Monger, my mic was muted. <laughs> it's not now. But I, um, I'm i going to go have a little bit of food because it sounds really good. Um, give me about 40 minutes. I'll be back. Monger, hopefully you can come back. Jag, since you're an awesome speed runner at this game, I could definitely use some help with it. Um, and Crowley. As always, it's always fun to hear how things are going across the pond. So, uh, just feeding your cat. <laughs> well, I'm going to go get some food because chili and grilled cheese sandwich with some hot pepper flakes. Oh, man. You got, like, my, my taste buds. Thinking of, like, something spicy, and it sounds really good. And so that's what I'm going to go have for a little bit of dinner. Um, Yeah, my, my institution my institution denied me tenure and fired me in the same day. Um, I teach technical communication and I teach all this stuff. So I teach students how to stream and how to use technology and how to build websites, video, photography, interactive media. And they fired me because I wasn't tenured. So a year ago, a little bit about a year and a half ago, they notified me that they were denying me tenure and firing me in the same day and it was awful and um, I kept with it because I'd hoped that they would change their minds they never did I applied for a new job and yeah I found out today that the institution isn't going to hire because of coronavirus and their financial issues that they may can't foresee in the future it doesn't mean that the job that I'm applying for will never hire again but it just changes the outlook on things and so it's been a, a really tough day so hey Russian love so I'm gonna go grab a little bit of food because I think um, sometimes that's the good thing to feed the soul is I think some chili sounds really good with some hot spicy pe peppers in it and stuff no ghost chilies just some red pepper flakes and a nice hot grilled cheese sandwich and a big glass of milk because this is our first day of quarantine and we have a lot of days left so I'm going to go get a little bit of food, everybody. I will return in about 45 minutes. So I hopefully you guys can all come back. I would love to see your faces again. Monger, I haven't seen you forever. Russian love, it's been a long time too. And Crowley and, and Jay, please come back. So I'm going to go ahead and end the stream now. I'm going to get a little bit of food in my belly. Um, maybe take an anxiety pill. <laughs> but I'll be back. So... Thanks, everybody, for the support. Crowley, thanks for chatting with me for the past, like, two hours. Jig, thanks for showing me where to go. Hopefully, Monger and Russian Love, I will be back, but I'm going to end the stream. Um, I'm actually going to send... Let's see here. I'll send Monger. Let's see here. 
I'm gonna send Monger a hello here on a on a DM, just so I can send you a message when I come back. And Russian love, let's give you a let's give you a message here to get you back. So if you guys are into um, if you guys if you guys want to, you can sub to the channel. As I said, I got some awesome new Resident Evil 3 emo emotes. I got the new hype T virus. Got a stars one. Stars. Got that going. And we got a brains one. All super fun emotes. So hopefully we'll see everybody back here in a little bit. But it's time for me to go get a little dinner in my belly. And I'll see everybody relatively soon. Stick around. I'll be back in about 45 minutes, everybody. And also, also before I go. Thank you. Thank you. Um, also, GamerGoo has decided... GamerGoo has decided that I'm a partner. So all partners now, if you guys are interested in buying GamerGoo, even though I do have some to give away, um, if you're interested in trying it, please, please use my link and use code SLAPARTIST. Um, use it... Um, because I'm a partner, if you use my code, then I, they've instead of getting 10% of the sale, I get 50% because GamerGoo realizes that people are losing their jobs. Um, I'm losing my job in May. And so every little bit of money helps. So instead of me getting my, my commission is higher now. So if you guys use the link and use the code, wow. Wow. Thank you, Crowley. I appreciate that very much. Thank you so much. <laughs> you guys have been very supportive. Um, if you use the code, uh, I, I get half of that, that half of that purchase goes into my pocket. So I get 50% of the commission. So if you guys are interested in trying GamerGoo, um, it helps their company, but half of that pay goes to me too, which is, you know, I don't know what things are going to look like in another month for me or even let alone the end of May. So, um, thank you for the sub. Thank you, uh, Crowley. That gives you access to all these fun emotes. Um, especially being an RE fan, now you get these awesome Resident Evil emotes. So thank you so much for the sub, man. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna back out of here now, and I'm gonna get some food, but I'll be back. So everybody, stick around. I'll send you messages when I get back online. So let me get let me get Jag on this too. Where are you at, Jag? Let me find your name here. There it is. you here because I'm going to send all you guys some messages all right there we go all right everybody I'll be back I'm signing off thank you for the sub it does work I'm gonna go get food I'll see you guys in a little bit